Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. It's nearly two years since the Brexit referendum, and there are just 316 days to go until the United Kingdom leaves the European Union. I support the opposition motion today because the infighting and indecision within the government is both holding back the Brexit negotiations and delaying crucial votes in Parliament. Yeah. Labour recognises that the only way to ensure the frictionless trade necessary to support our vital manufacturing industries is to secure a new comprehensive UK-EU customs union. Not only is it the best way to prevent a hard border in Northern Ireland, but a customs union has, has wide support from the business community and trade unions. Yeah. Yeah. There are currently 247,000 EU citizens living in the West Midlands region and 87,000 across the Greater Birmingham area. And the West Midlands' 10 universities attract over 8,000 EU students each year and employ approximately 5,000 academics who are EU citizens. My own constituency is home to both the University of Birmingham and Newman University, and I am proud that many of the students and academics from these great institutions choose to make their home in Edgbaston. But it is business, and specifically manufacturing, which I wish to focus the body of my comments on today, and why the release of these papers is key. The Conservative Mayor of the West Midlands said in an article this week that hardline Brexiteers risk causing the unintended destruction of thousands of jobs in the automotive industry in the region, and he was right. The automotive industry employs more than 50,000 people across the region, with firms such as Jaguar Land Rover, Aston Martin, BMW and London Tax Taxi Company. There are also numerous component companies such as GKN based in Birmingham. These companies' fortunes are inextricably linked to the ability to move goods and parts between the UK and Europe. And the port of Dover currently handles 122 billion of the UK's trade in goods in 2.6 million freight vehicles. 99% of these freight traffic comes from the EU, and the port has estimated that given the lack of physical space, even a two-minute delay to check each vehicle would lead to 17-mile queues on either side of the channel. This is, ex is ex exactly the type of delay that would adversely affect companies in the West Midlands whose products often require several trips across the channel before being completed. Nearly 40% of JLR's global suppliers are based in Europe, and these suppliers are crucial to the success of JLR, and without their timely and competitively price parts, production at JLR and all other manufacturers would simply grind to a halt. Seat belts supplied by Bosch and made in Germany, plastic sealing made in the Czech Republic, wheels from Germany, brake hoses from Spain. It's, it's quite clear that the product, production of a modern British car relies on an interconnected web of a European autom automotive suppliers. And the West Midlands has one of the highest share of goods imports coming from the EU, and 47% of exports of goods from the West Midlands go to the EU. The region's higher than average reliance on the manufacturing sector, and automotive manufacturing in particular, make it even more reliant on trade than, other, than any other areas. And the message from business in the West Midlands is clear. We need a deal, and we need a deal that works for business. And Labour is clear that deal is a customs union. The West Midlands already has both higher unemployment and a higher proportion of those with low or no qualifications than the UK average, and my constituents simply cannot afford any more barriers to be put in their way when they are seeking employment, and by not entering a customs union, the Government is doing just that. The Cabinet needs to put aside their petty differences and their rigid, rigid ideologies. They need to overcome their stubbornness and focus on what matters, and that is the jobs of the people in the West Midlands and across the country.